Madam Chair, members, I note in the report in regard to health risk, because this is only health risk is only one aspect of this problem. Um, there are wider environmental, ecological, ecosystem risks as well, and ongoing damage. Uh, the, the, I quote from the report, the current approach of reporting beaches as safe is misleading and inappropriate. The guidelines are based on tolerable risk rather than no risk at all. For most healthy people, water conforming to the guideline value will pose a minimal level of risk of illness, less than 2%. However, water conforming to the guideline values may pose a greater risk to high-risk user groups such as the very young, who tend to be the ones who splash about in the water, especially in the shallow water, the elderly and those with impaired immune systems. So let's not lowball the health risk, but also let's take into account there is a wider ecological risk um, um, in terms of nutrient um, damage to the inner harbour and marine ecosystems. I, can, I don't know if members have, have received pictures of Miola Creek just taken recently with a whole lot of dead ducks rotting in them. But that's a reality um, out there. So, OK, let's use this predictive system. Sadly, we can predict it because we know full well there every time it rains more than nine millimetres, which is on average more than 52 times a year, about 50 outlets overflow and spill into the harbour. That's, that's underneath what this uh, high-tech predictive uh, new program is, is about. So, OK, let's go ahead with this, but let's bear in mind there is an underlying problem that has been put off for years. It's been in the Auckland plan, our Auckland plan, uh, in 2013. Nothing has been done about it as yet. We're refreshing the Auckland plan, haven't really even made a start on sorting out this problem. Thank you. So, I, I think when we have the report on these issues, I think we will identify that although the problem is huge, it certainly hasn't been completely ignored, Councillor. I take exception to that. We'll move on to Councillor Wayne Walker. And uh, I'm assuming we're into debate now. We are into Chair. debate. This is all very fine. I think the point that I endeavoured to make earlier is that we need to approach this issue in a joined up way. This committee doesn't have oversight over water care. My estimate is that there are well over 2,000 uh, manholes and associated um, items where you've got ongoing wet weather flows occurring. The number of streams and waterways uh, impacted on is significant, not to say the um, individual properties that some of these are on. And this is all factual data. I'll repeat, this is absolute factual data that water care has. So speaking to the recommendations. So speaking to the um, recommendations and this report, it frankly does not go far enough. We continue to deal with this issue in a splintered way. And we need to address that. So I'm comfortable with what we're doing around sw safe swim, but there is a, a glaring problem we have around the general context of healthy waterways as it applies to our streams and our beaches. Okay. Anyone else speaking to the recommendation? Yeah, I will very briefly, mm -hmm. Madam Chair. Yep, Councillor Cashmore. It's very important that we remain focused that this is about informing our public about the quality of the water they wish to recreate in. This is not about the solution for our intergenerational stormwater problem historically. So we all know that there is an issue. We know that it's got to be resolved. It's identified in the LTP. Some of it's been through the environment court with the interceptors. Exactly. We just now have the intestinal fortitude to keep moving forward with it. And this is purely a safety recognition for our public that where it is good to swim and where it's not so good to swim. We're getting an end of it. Point of order, Madam Chair. I move that the motion now be put. Oh, I was just going to do that, so we don't need to deal with that. I'll put the recommendation. Um, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Carried. Sure. Councillor Cashmore was the last speaker, so we didn't need to deal with that recommendation. I'm going to suggest that we now break um, oh. for okay. half an hour, 45 minutes. It's now 12.42.
I suggest we break until 1.30. I'll move that. Is there a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Collins. All those in favour, say aye. Against, carried.